Tonight, 7 News is getting video that shows the terrifying moments from inside an Arlington bank as a man held five people hostage. This footage was captured by one of the hostages just moments before police converge on the bank to save them. Our Christian Flores has been on this story since it broke earlier this afternoon. He's live for us in Arlington where it all happened. So Christian, within the last 30 minutes, you got some new details about the suspect. What do you know? Yes, we have. Police have just confirmed the man they arrested is Oscar Ayarenha, a 30-year-old from North Carolina. He has been charged with bank robbery and abduction. Tonight, we're hearing the horrifying account from a man whose wife and young daughter were inside the bank when this all went down. You can hear the heavy breathing during the terrifying moments of an attempted bank robbery at the Wells Fargo on Washington Boulevard in Clarendon. One hostage hides behind a chair and captures this video as others are lying flat on the floor. Attention units for possible bank robbery in progress at the Wells Fargo. According to police, a man walked into the bank, said he had a gun and demanded money, all while hostages were inside. We have five people inside and the suspect. Among those hostages, the wife and young daughter of John Paul Mwenye. I live with my wife. I say, you stay here. I have to go to school to pick my old oh, children. And when I go to school, I see just get a phone number calling me back. Maybe five times, I don't pick up. And I see, I say, what happened? And I keep up. And she say, call the police, call the police, call the police. When Ye called the police, 7 News was the only station to capture video of the moments police arrested the suspect, pulling him out of the bank in handcuffs as the hostages were released. When I come here, I see a lot of police they come to help. I am very happy because I see my wife. She's very fine. She's fine. And my daughter, baby, young babe, she's fine. Everything is good. None of the hostages were hurt. Police officers never found a gun on the man. Wenye says he is relieved there was a quick response from police. I am very happy because uh, no anyone died. And uh, the police come. It's going to take too long. When I call the police, and the police come. And we reach back out to Mwenye tonight. He says his wife and daughter are physically okay, but the entire family, understandably, is still emotionally shaken up. Reporting live in Clarendon, Christian Flores, 7 News.